hello everyone i'm gonna show you uh, now it's august 19 i'm gonna show you how the melons are doing under this milk crate i have the first of the uh, my own seeds of melon so what i'm growing is a, um, a melon that i think it got uh, cross-pollinated between two varieties that i was growing and i saved to to see if he's um if, if, if he maintains those quality or if he, if he reverts back to, to the mother plant. Now, I have uh, five or six plants of these uh, seeds that I saved. One fruit is right here and it does look like uh, maintaining uh, some new properties, qualities. The other one, I put it inside this cold frame and the plant is just doing uh, very good. We have uh, around uh, five melons that I kept. One is right there that I kept, and I also I can see because I'm pretty sure that there's something that, you know, it's very thick in here. It's like a jungle, and I can see there's another one there. Oh, you see, like these leader ones, but I'm trying to pull them off because I don't want any more melons from it. This is just a single plant. Inside here, I have one that I protected with a net, just to make sure no animals go to it, because it's right on the ground. And then we have two more on this side. There's one down there. And one I, oh, up here. Okay, so. This is a, a cross between a Montreal melon and a Noir de Carme. Now, on this side of the garden, I have another two because I'm testing different environment. Like you, you saw, one is in a cold frame, another was just in the ground, but kind of uh, in a shelter position. This one, they're growing in a black grow bag. And at the end of this tunnel, so there was also the plastic at the beginning of the season. Now, this is one of the two that I think they reverted to one of the parent plants. And this one would be the Noir de Carmen. We're also going to harvest it. And uh, uh, we're going to cut it and I'll uh, show you how it looks inside. So that's the first one that I'm not going to save the seeds. I think it's just reverted to a, a, a simple Noir de Carb. And this one, I'm not sure about. Uh, uh, I think it, it does look like a Montreal, completely a Montreal melon, but we'll see. Uh, so this one is all obviously behind. So now I have, that's for the cantaloupe, that's it. At the end, we're gonna go up on the roof and I'm gonna show you the watermelon, but I have one watermelon that I started for that uh, watermelon challenge that was on YouTube. And is a, the variety is in Alibaba. It's really uh, a variety that is not suggested for this climate. I'm in zone four in Canada. So my growing season sometimes is just 90 days, but uh, uh, I like to push and I I basically build this mini greenhouse on top of it. I put a I put the plant inside the black plastic bucket to try to, to absorb, absorb as much heat. I did have also a heat cable on the bottom just in case it was needed for uh, those first uh, month or so. And I'll try to bring the camera there because it's really difficult to reach, but the melon is there. I don't know how much of it you can see, but that's an Alibaba. It's already a nice size. I'm pretty sure I don't have any other ones. I always try to check. The plant is very big and I don't want any other melon. I want uh, the plant to just focus on that single fruit that is back here, you can't really see. 
anyway. So those are the melons that I have down at the ground level. Now we're gonna go up on the roof. And here we are on the roof. You can see the melons. So this is a variety that a friend of mine saved the seeds from um, a melon he ate. Uh, I told him, I don't know if it's worth to saving because I didn't know if it was a hybrid or what. Um, the tender is actually already drying, but I'm pretty sure it's not mature. Mm. I'm going to still leave it on for a bit. Uh, probably it's going to be the first one, though, to mature, I would guess. I don't know. I, I have no idea even which kind of variety it is, you know. So, let's see if it leaves any indentation. It does. Anyway, so that's the first. I don't have the name for it. This is a um, Sweet Siberian. This one too is looking like it's growing very nicely. Now this one, let's see if I remember, or actually not, I don't remember. Let's see if I find a label. Usually I put them on the inside, there they are. Okay, so this one is a favorite bowl. It's one of the seedless one. It's looking nice. The tendril. I think it's still all green. Anyway, you can tell it's not uh, it's not ready. So I have uh, one per plant in this case. This one is a sweet favorite. Is uh, that hoblong? I don't know what's going on with this plant this year because uh, it, it waited so long to flower and set fruit, and then it set like ten fruits. I had to go pick them, and they were all kind of misshapen. So I did keep two and uh, one and two, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, this year, this is one of the, look, it's still putting fruit. So usually it's an early one. It put, it's one of the first to, to start to set fruit. So I don't know why I did this this year, but uh, we still have a couple of good looking fruits. This is another uh, favorite bowl. And uh, so those, uh, seedless even this one i kept one so that the plant focus on just bringing that to maturing and this is a i think it's a new queen it's a supposedly an orange but uh, this is a really small ah i have another one cluster so i'm gonna keep two on this one uh, so i have these two first two plants they have two all the others Beside that uh, misshapen favorite, sweet favorite, I've won. So those are the melons. I'll, uh, now we're gonna go, and I'm gonna open up that uh, cantaloupe noir de carme, and we'll see how it looks. All right, so let's cut this open. I'll try with one end. There you go. Beautiful. Look at this. Nice. And let's see if I can, yeah, I'll get a little taste. Mm. Fantastic. So this is the first melon. It's a Noir de Can, 100%. Um, I might even say this is, who knows. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.